weather forecast. Overall, the month of May for the last month of meteorological spring was a warm one, especially towards the second half of the month. That's where we were into that pattern that brought us those above average temperatures, ultimately topping out at 90 degrees yesterday, which of course was the warmest that we were throughout the month. And it should come as no surprise that earlier in the month was when we hit our cooler temperatures, or coolest temperature, excuse me, 30 degrees. That was on the third. Overall, three degrees warmer than average. Now that takes into account both our highs and our lows. I want you to pay attention here. The total precipitation, yeah, we got just north of two inches, and we're, that puts us about two inches shy, which is why a lot of the uh, lawns now starting to brown up uh, a little bit. We just need to get a little bit of moisture, which we're not expecting early this morning, looking at our Nicolay Bank sky cam over Hastings Way, as we have some sunshine and a temperature of 68 degrees. Those dew points are starting to creep up as well. So more moisture near the surface could spark some more pop-up showers and storms later on. Very mild start that uh, abundance of moisture now starting to give us these warmer mornings as well. A lot of upper 60s and 70s and that moisture comes as we've had this wind out of the south over the last couple of days. And again, bringing our dew points mostly up into the upper 50s and even some lower 60s off towards the west. A lot of us are expecting those dew points in the 60s later on. But the satellite and radar has been mostly dry through the overnight. We did have some showers, just a very few uh, through the overnight. And again, we are expecting a few more chances at some pop up showers going into the afternoon as we get more of that sunlight early on. And that'll heat us up, of course, and that'll spark that chance at some showers. Later on tonight, staying partly cloudy, maybe just a stray shower again. But tomorrow, more of the same intervals of clouds and sun. Pop-up showers possible. You get the picture. It's a very stagnant pattern. And again, we're expecting that more of the same of that on Saturday. Our highs today, though, going to be a hot one. Getting into the upper 80s and low 90s. And later on tonight, again, another mild one. Getting into the low, low to mid 60s for the most part. And even our lower elevations staying into the upper 50s. Couple chances of hitting 90 over the next couple of days. Really taking us through the weekend before those dew points start to drop. And the temperatures will also start to drop, still above average, but getting us a little bit of relief as those highs mostly hang out into the low to mid 80s by the middle of next week. Now for a Sunshine Award today, Cheyenne McKinney, I would like to nominate Ladysmith Christian Church volunteers and says the church gives so much back to the community. During the school year, they host a Wednesday impact night where they offer classes for all ages and provide a meal for all the kids and their families. This is all volunteer based and has a big impact on all those who attend. On April 29th, a large group of volunteers from young to old did church and chainsaws. The volunteers went out to the community and helped clear yards of storm damage from the winter storms for those who could not. Now, if you'd like to nominate someone, send us an email or head over to our website at weau.com.